Good morning, guys. I'm about to step on the scale and see how much I weigh for this morning. Whoops. 154.2 ounces. Amazing. In just three days, guys. This is awesome. Hi, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Roxanne, here. And I'm saying welcome to those of you who are here for the very first time, and to you, my fasting buddies, welcome back. Did you guys enjoy that workout video I did this morning? I know I did. That was an amazing time for me where I just let loose and I, I had fun while I was working out. I was laughing and throwing myself here and there. I didn't care if I made a fool of myself doing those moves, but hey, Workout should be fun. It shouldn't be long, boring, and strenuous, or else you wouldn't care to get up each day to do it. So guys, find a workout that works for you and stick to it. Walk at home works for me, so I stick to it. I may fall off a couple days, a couple weeks, but hey, I always go back to my walk at home. I'm being real, guys. I'm not perfect. There are days when I don't want to work out and there are days when I just want to go ahead and just work out. So tell me one person who doesn't have days like those. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in. And like I said before, what better way? What better time? The time to start is now. Look at these results, guys. Come on. Look at these results. I am a living proof in three days. Look. Look at me in three days. Can you guys believe this? In three days, I have lost seven pounds, six ounces. Yes, guys, you heard it right. Today, I lost four pounds and four ounces on only day number three. Look at me, guys. This is amazing. And fasting works. So, guys, let me get right into it. But before I begin, just a little disclaimer. I am not a doctor, nor am I a dietitian or a nutritionist. So, everything that I will share with you today would be from my own experience. And so, today, I have decided to um share some points and views on two main effects side effects that you will have while doing your water fast so put a button there put a pin right there if you are eating you may want to pause this video for a few minutes until you finish eating and then come back to the video because I'm going to be talking about some TMI stuff. Yeah, I know. But hey, we got to talk about it. Because hey, that's reality. And it happens to everyone. So guys, here it goes. So, on a water fast, you all know you're consuming nothing but water. And I like sometimes to call mine crystal punch. Ah, a punch without no sugar or color. Mm. Amazing. So guys, like I was saying, fasting comes with some side effects. Don't be afraid. Don't get scared. It's nothing that you can't handle. Maybe most people wouldn't mind some of the side effects. But guys, let me tell you what happened to me today. Normally, when I go on a water fast, I do not have a bowel movement until the fourth day or the fifth day. But guys, I had a bowel movement today on my third day. And that was freaking amazing. <laughs> that was like a release. You understand what I'm saying? That was a release. That was like... <gasps> Oh, I felt like I was 10 pounds lighter when I was out of the bathroom. It's amazing because all those stuff that build up that just stopped there needed to get out. <laughs> this is so 
so crazy. But guys, I'm telling you. So this is what happened when you're fasting. When you're fasting and you're not putting any food in, what I, I like to call it the clog up. <laughs> it's like you're clogged up for a period of time until you're being released. And that's what happened because your last meal is right there. And not just your last meal, but other meals that you had over weeks and months right there sitting in your intestine. Can you believe that? That all the waste doesn't come out whenever you have a bowel movement. That is just, ah, I know we don't want to think about stuff like that, but it's reality. And that's it. That's the truth. So what happened is the feces, it stays, some stays back in there. So whenever you eat, it will send a signal after your food is digest to the brain, to the bowels that, hey, some need to go out. So because you're not having any food, it's not sending any signal there. So it's holding on to those, ugh, it's holding on to your feces. You know, it, the body don't want to let it out because it wants some fresh food waste to go in there and to, you know, release it. But guys, fasting, it will come out. You just have to be patient. And when that day comes, whether it be on your third, your fourth, or your fifth, or even your sixth day of your fast, it's going to come out. And it's going to come out like a rushing wind. I'm telling you, be prepared for it. And then after the first day of your first bowel movement on your fast, it's going to happen like that again. And you're going to feel your stomach bubbling and bubbling. Sometimes it's a false alarm and other times it's a go. And it's going to get to the point where it's going to be just when, when all the, the roughage comes out, it's going to just be like you're peeing because all you're consuming is water and now your intestines get the opportunity to be washed. It's like it's like you putting a, 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 a hose in there and spraying it clean. That's how clean it's going to be after you come off your fast. So I would say one day fast is good, two day fast is good, three day fast is good. But if you can go on a five day or a seven day fast, it's even better because then you, your body get a, the opportunity to clean itself out from all that toxins, from all that waste that was just sitting in there that can cause all different kinds of health issues. Trust me, guys. It, it, it's a sacrifice, but it's a good sacrifice because at the end of the day, you're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel awesome. Your skin is going to glow. Your hair is going to be healthier. I mean, your whole, your whole man is going to be different. It's going to be a big difference in your whole overall being. And so guys, that's what I'm talking about when I said the gross stuff. Now, the other gross thing is your mouth. When I first started fasting, I would have given anything to just put a candy, a mint, or even I, I became like stock up on, 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 on mouthwash. Just wanted to rinse my mouth with every opportunity that I get because the taste in my mouth was so metallic it was so gross that even when you brush your teeth and then after you drink some water and you know that mouthwash taste has left your mouth it the metallic taste just came right back and guys it it, it leave off the whiteness your tongue becomes all white and gooey I'm telling you, because your body is detoxing. So all that toxin is coming out of your body and it starts on your tongue. So if your taste bud, if you, your tongue tastes metallic, your mouth tastes metallic. I know a lot of persons when they're fasting, when they're doing water fasting, they would give up like on the third day and they'll be like, 
My mouth just tastes bad. Water, the water tastes bad, you know, but it's because your, your tongue, your taste bud is getting readjust. All of those toxins coming through and it's a process. You have to give yourself the opportunity to heal. Your body needs the time to heal. So don't get scared. Don't be afraid and run to the cabinet or run to the cookie jar or run to the candy store to stock up on candy trying to get that taste out of your mouth. It's normal. It's natural to have that taste in your mouth. And I guarantee you, by the fourth, fifth day, it will become the norm to you. And you'll find that it started to just go away the more you brush your tongue. That's another thing. You have to brush your tongue a lot. You can't just go with a regular brushing twice a day. When you're on a fast, honey child, if even just your tongue, you need to do that more than twice per day. So you can feel, your mouth could feel clean. And when you drink your water, you wouldn't feel that metallic taste in your mouth. And that's what I does. That's what worked for me. Yep. So right now my mouth is dry and I'm going to drink some water. That's another thing. It doesn't matter if you drink two gallons of water while you're on a fast. Your mouth will still be dry. That's something I have experienced. Even with my lips. It does. If I drink a gallon of water per day, I still find that my lips get dry. So I don't worry about it. Just slap some chopstick on it and you're good to go. It's normal, guys. It's normal. So don't be afraid. So those are the points... Um, I wanted to share with you guys today because I know a lot of persons um, may want to try their water fast and they may hear, you know, all the horror stories. And But guys, when we put junk in our bodies, when we ingest all those toxin smokes, ah, the, 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 the pollution in the, in the atmosphere, all of that year round, go around every year and don't give our body the opportunity to heal itself then we experience all different types of underlying issues and this is why it is so important because the doctors are not going to tell us this they want us to feed our bodies with medications on top of medications for a simple headache they have a pill for you understand so i mean what best than to stop putting in, stop adding, take away all of that junk, all of that medication and put your body to the test because our body can handle it. If Jesus did it for 40 days, you can last for 14 days. You can last for two, three, four, or five or seven days without food. I once did 40, 43 days without food, just water and tea. And that used to be a yearly thing for me. But after I had my son, you know, after I had my daughter five years ago, I did it again. And then I haven't done it in maybe about two years. I haven't done, maybe two, three years, I haven't done a 40-day fast. But now that my son is older and I have weaned him off of these, Yes, I breastfed him up to two years and three months. So now, now I can do my fasting. Yep. But guys, no excuses. Real talk on a serious note. If we don't take the initiative to become a healthier version of ourselves, what examples are we setting for our kids or grandkids or other family members? Where does it end? Who does it begins with? It begins with us, mothers. Yes, it begins with us. We have to set an example. If we always feed in our kids everything that they want, then that's all they're going to know when they grow up. They wouldn't know anything different. And then they will teach their kids. And if every time we're sick, we run to the doctor to get a medication for a pill to cure, all we're doing is adding to the problem. You're not solving the problem. You're just putting a band-aid on the problem. But eventually that band-aid is gonna wear off and the problem is gonna resurface. So what do you do? 
you attack the problem from the root. And where does every disease begin? It doesn't even matter if it's a cold or a cough or a sneeze. Every disease begins here, right here, in the gut. Yes, every disease begins in the gut. So if we don't take care of the gut, that's where everything ends up, in the gut. So if we don't take care of it, if we don't take care of this, then we expect all different issues to arise in our bodies. So now is a time, guys. Now is a time for us to be serious, especially in this COVID time. I mean, it's just horrifying how much people are dying. You know, how many family members lost loved ones, how many mothers and fathers lost their children during to COVID. And then the only solution that they still can come up with it's another medication, which you don't even know if that medication works. You don't even know what other issues that medication is going to cost. But guys, it doesn't cost us anything, nothing to do a total cleanse, to detox from the mind, the body, the spirit, and the soul is one we have one body and if we don't take care of it then we lose it and those are my few words for this vlog i get a little emotional when i talk about this stuff and ah, trying to catch myself but this is me guys this is me what you see is what you get and i have a passion for this and I, I, I love to share information, whatever I know, I love to share. I really do. It really, it really gives me pleasure knowing that I can share something that works for me with others. It's just amazing. Ha! <sighs> so guys, if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share it with your friends or your family members. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like these. And um, stay tuned for the next 11 days because we're doing this 14-day challenge. And I'm expecting to see a lot of comments in the comment section about those of you who have started. It doesn't matter if you start today. It doesn't matter if you didn't start on the day when I started. You can start your own 14 days. You can go right ahead and start it right now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for next month. Don't wait for 2022 to say, okay, this is going to be my new year resolution. Start it now, today, right this minute, right this second. Start it. If you're suffering from any issues, consult with a physician if you have high blood pressure diabetes or kidney failure you have to be cautious so i'm not telling you to go out there and just just go right ahead and fast if you have issues health issues already but i am telling you you have persons who were um diabetic who were um who had high blood pressure and they went on a fast and it reversed it got reversed. Those illness got reversed. And there are a lot of YouTubers on YouTube giving their testimonies about how fast they heal them. So this is nothing new that I'm bringing forth. You know, I'm just sharing my experience with you guys and praying and hoping that if I can touch one person, if I can help one person, then I would have been then I would have made a big impact on someone else's life who struggles with weight, who struggles with overeating, who struggles daily just to get out of bed, who struggles to work out. If I could help one person, then I would have done a lot. And so guys, I say good night. I love you all. And I thank you all for sticking out to the end. If you have reached the end of this vlog, Thank you so much. God bless you and I love you all. Peace.